here today talking to the grandchildren of Charlotte Wright, one of the strongest, baddest, in a good way, superhero women I have ever known. When she decided to do something with her adult life, she went big, really big. First of all, she let nothing get in her way. And she looked for people that were the most marginalized, that were suffering the most. And guess who that was? In our city, it was middle school kids, okay? So you know what she did? She went into this traditional middle school and she went like this. <clears throat> she never hurt anybody, but she broke it up. She said, this doesn't work. These kids are lonely. They feel terrible. They're not learning. She just broke that thing up. She just, <clears throat> and when she did that, she attracted people that also had that same spirit, that they were willing to break things up and have people not like them because they wanted those kids, sixth, seventh and eighth grades, to feel loved and to feel like they had power, that they could do something, that they could be something. And I'll tell you personally, you guys, my three children went through her school and guess what? That was the best education of their entire life. So when I think of your grandmother, I think of this woman that you will never see because she doesn't do that job anymore. But never hurting, just creating a path forward. And now your woman, your grandmother is like this spiritual leader because she leads from a place of inner peace now. Your grandmother, my superhero, just kind of adapts to what's really important at the time. And right now we need people like your grandmother that just really believe in true love and forgiveness and kindness and bringing a sense of grace to the world. And that is your grandmother, Charlotte Wright, and she's turning 70. And she is the youngest 70 year old I ever knew because she probably will live forever because of that synergy that she has brought onto this planet. Thanks you guys. I wish I was there. <clears throat>